Hey everyone, welcome back. I am at Walgreens to grab some gels for the sales week of May 30th through June 5th. I have two digital boosters. I have a spend 20 get five on my account and I also have a spend 20 get five on my husband's account. I am gonna build one up to about $40 so that I can roll Walgreens cash and pay a little bit less out of pocket. The second one, I'm gonna see if I get a paper spend booster on my first transaction, but if I don't, I probably will not build that transaction up. It'll just be like 20 something dollars and then I'll pay and get back the $5 in Walgreens cash. I have another spend booster on my account. It was shop six times in the month of May, spend over $20 and then get back another $5 in Walgreens cash. I only need one more time, so I should hit that today also. So that should also help cover some of the cost on that transaction that I'm gonna build up. There will be a Google Doc link down below for the deals that I plan to do today if you guys are interested in that. So I'm gonna go ahead, head into the store, go over the deals I'm gonna grab, and then I'll come back into the car and go over my receipts. The first transaction I'm gonna do is the spend 20, get five, but I'm gonna build my transaction up to over $40 so that I can roll the Walgreens cash. So this week, Olay is on sale two for $12, and there's a promotion for when you buy two, you'll get back a $4 register reward. So I'm gonna grab two. I clipped a $4 off of two digital to my account. I'll be left to pay $8 in the store. I'll get back that $4 register reward, making it $4 for both or $2 each. This week, Gain Flings are on sale for $4.99. It also includes the smaller bottles of Gain Detergent. They are on promotion for when you buy two, you'll get back a $3 register reward. So I'm going to pick up two of the 16 count. It's going to bring me to $9.98. I'm going to use two of these $2 off of one Gain Flings. It does say 16 to 35 count. So it will attach to these. So $4 is going to come off me down to $5.98. I'll get back that $3 register reward, making it $2.98 for both or about $1.49 each. Now, if you don't feel comfortable using two of the $2 off of one, you can use one of these and you can use the dollar off of one manufacturer coupon. This came out in the June PNG and the exact insert that this came out in will be linked in the Google Doc. This week, Pampers and Ninjamas are buy two, get a $4 register reward, and they are on sale two for 18. I'm gonna grab two of these Pampers Cruisers 360. It's going to bring me to $18. I have a $5 off of two digital for this one. So that's going to lead me to pay 13. I'll get back that four, making my final cost $9 or $4.50 each. The digital that I have for this one does expire today, but there are also other digitals in the app for $4 off of two and $3 off of two if you don't have the five. I'm going to grab one of these Febreze plugins. They're priced at $3.99. We got this get one free and the June PNG. It's up to $3, so I'll pay 99 cents for this. And I actually am gonna build this even higher. I'm at $42 in PNG products right now, so I'm gonna add a Gillette razor to get me over 50, and I'm gonna see if that $10 manufacturer coupons for spending $50 on PNG products. I'm gonna add the Gillette Fusion 5. It's not tagged in my store, but I did scan it in the app. This week they are $9.99. There is a $3 digital that'll drop you down to $6.99. You'll get back a $4 register reward, making it $2.99 for one. This is gonna be my first transaction. I have eight items right here, and my subtotal is $52.96. These are all PNG products, so like I said, I'm hoping that that $10 manufacturer coupon prints. I am gonna roll $20 in Walgreens cash, so that's gonna put me at $32.96. I'll still be over that 20 to get back the $5 for spending 20, and then the manufacturer coupon should print, hopefully, last time I got it, I did roll Walgreens cash and use register rewards, and I still got it. So if it doesn't print, um, rolling Walgreens cash won't be the reason for that. I have $18.99 in coupons, so I should pay about $13.97, and then I'll go over the receipt with the rewards I get for this transaction. So I'm gonna do the second transaction now. My first transaction was kind of a pain in the butt, and I paid way more out of pocket than I wanted to because something rang up wrong, and then I got store credit even though I paid cash, which is kind of weird. But I'll just go over that receipt in the car. Some of the Olay bar soap. This is a six cow, and they're also on sale this week, two for 12. And when you buy two, you'll get back a $4 register reward. I'm gonna pair in one of these Irish Spring Body Wash. This week they are on sale for $3.99. I have a $2 digital off of one. It's gonna make the final cost of this just $1.99. In my first transaction, I did not get a spend booster, so this is the last item I'm gonna grab with the Olay and the Irish Spring. This week's Select Crest Toothpaste is on sale for $3, and then when you buy two, you'll get back a $3 register reward. So I'm gonna pick up two of these. It's gonna bring me to $6. I have a $3 off of two digital. I'll be left to pay three. I'll get back $3, making these completely free. 
So this is gonna be my second transaction. My subtotal here is $21.99. I have three digitals, no paper coupons for this transaction. I have $9 in digital, so I'll pay about $12.99. I'm gonna use this store credit that I got from my first transaction for the Pampers not ringing up correctly. So I don't know if this is gonna lower my out of pocket, like if it works, like an IVC, like I've never used the store credit on one of my transactions and used the spend booster. So I hope that it doesn't affect that because it was actual money that I paid out of pocket that I would have used on this transaction. So I made it back into the car. I feel like the past couple weeks, if something didn't go right, it was because of my error. And today something didn't go right and it's not my fault. Um, I still got everything for a really good price, but not in the way that I wanted to get it in that price of that makes sense so here's the first receipt 9.99 was for the gillette razor two for 12 olay 9.98 for two of the gain 2.99 the febreze plug-in was on sale this week and i did not know so that was completely free after the three dollar coupon and then pampers is where the issue was so they're tagged two for 18 in the store i scanned them in the app to make sure that they were rigging up two for 18 and it does pop up two for 18. they rang up regular price 12.99 each so both of them rang up for 25.98 um, I'm going to show you the coupons. They are a little weird. So, so the $3 off the Olay is actually $3 off of the Febreze. This Olay $2 coupon is actually for the gain. This $2 coupon is actually for the gain. The Olay, the four off of two digital came off. And then the Gillette three off of one digital came off. Um, they were all PNG coupons. So they all, you know, ring up funky if you have all of them in the same transaction. I think that's weird. And then my $5 off the Pampers also did not come off. So the first time he rang me up, he did not scan my paper coupons. He hit total and I did see that five off of two digital. It did come off, but when he re-rang me up and then he scanned my paper coupons, that digital did not come off. So my subtotal was $46.94. My $5 digital did not come off and the Pampers over rang $7.98. So I paid $13 more out of pocket after I rolled $20 in Walgreens cash. I paid $26.94 plus tax out of my actual pocket. So I paid that. I knew that the $5 digital did not come off, but I didn't know what else was wrong. So I pulled over to the side and then I noticed that they rang up for $25.98. So I, he was the manager who rang me up. He was walking towards the back where I was at. So I asked him for help in the pamper section. So he took me back to the register. He rang them up and they are ringing up regular price. So he price modified. It was um, $7.98 subtotal plus tax. And he gave me back store credit. And in my head, I'm like, extra credit I paid cash out of my pocket you know like my debit card is cash it's not credit card so you should have given me back cash because this caused me a problem in my second transaction but I'm just gonna go over all the rebates because I mean it still works out okay so I'm all over the place so I'm kind of frustrated so I got back ten dollars and forty cents in Walgreens cash right here five dollars was for spending 20 my digital booster and five dollars was for doing six transactions in the month of May and spending over $20. So I got back $10.40, 40 cents for everything else that I picked up. So subtotal is $46.94. I did the return, so it makes my subtotal $38.96. I got back $10.40, $3 for the gain, $4 for Gillette Razor, $4 for the Olay, and $4 for the Pampers. So I did get the register reward, it just didn't ring up correctly. So I got back $15 in register rewards, and then, ta-da, my $10 coupon, manufacturer coupon for spending 50 on PNG actually printed. So I got back $25 in paper rebates, $10.40. So back in this transaction, I got back $35.40. Um, no uh, rebate apps, cashback or anything like that. So. $38.96 minus $35.40. That makes this transaction $3.56. I am going to contact customer service for that $5 digital that did not come off. It does expire today, but when I scanned it in the app, it did show that it was attaching. And when he rang me up the first time, it did show that it was coming off. So I should get back $5 from customer service, making it a $1.44 moneymaker. But when he rang me up again, um, did the return modified, I got another $4 register reward. So that makes this one free and a $5.44 money maker. Now I wouldn't be contacting customer service for the $5 digital, but he gave me back store credit. So in my second transaction, I'm gonna go over that receipt to tell you why I'm gonna get that $5 back from customer service. $3.99 for the Irish Spring, two for 12 on the Olay, and then the Crest were $3 each. My digitals came off, $4 off of two Olay, $3 off the Crest, $2 off the Irish Spring. My subtotal was $12.99. I used a store credit card 
um, for my first transaction because I spent that money out of pocket, like I said, five times already. Um, that dropped me under the $20 to get back $5 in Walgreens cash. Um, I don't think I had used anything like that before, so I didn't know. I was kind of thinking that maybe it was going to, but I didn't want to spend more cash out of pocket than I had already spent. I only got back 13 cents. I did not get back the $5. And then store register rewards for this transaction, I got back $3 for the Crest and $4 for the Olay. So I got back $7, it makes this transaction $5.99. Now if you do this transaction and you just spend the $12.99 plus tax out of pocket, your final cost after um, your booster and these register rewards will be $0.99, cents, which I think is a good deal. My first transaction will be a $5.44 moneymaker when I contact customer service for my digital. And I will post that right here on the screen to show you guys when I get it back. I usually do that as soon as I get home and it doesn't take very long. And then my second transaction cost me $5.99. So subtotal final cost for everything that I picked up is 55 cents plus tax. I still think that it is a great final cost for everything. It's just not in the way that I wanted to um, get everything, if that makes sense. So I did get all of my register rewards back today. No issues with that. It's just the digitals and um, the items not ringing up. If right. you guys wanna buy Pampers, just make sure they ring up right. Like I said, I did scan it in the app and it did pop up two for 18 and it was tagged in my store. So just make sure if you buy diapers that they ring up right so you're not having to actually spend that money out of pocket and then have to do a return. It just messes everything up. At least it does for me. And then I also got some other, I got a two of these 20% off of a $10 uh, purchase on regular priced items and then I did get a digital booster for seven dollars back when you spend 30 so I might try to come back and do that spend 20 get five and then just pair this in to uh, hopefully get some really good items so that does bring us to the end of this video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's CVS video bye